All right, so today I want us to talk about decorative highlighting. Now, this um, video I was inspired by a ad that I saw somewhere. It was a bunch of text, and somebody had taken a marker in the image. They'd circled the items. So we had a list of items. They weren't just highlighted like this, but when you highlighted something, when something was selected, there was like a little pen circle around it. So I wanted to show how you could do that with CSS. So what I'm doing right now is I've got this very simple little script. I'm saying, hey, if you click on the UL, then I'm toggling a class marked. And all I'm doing is toggling that class. I'm adding and removing the class. When I make the change right now, all that happens is we're adding and removing the background color, this red color. But I've gone into Photoshop. I could use any graphics program. And I just quickly, with the trackpad, sketched out a little rounded rectangle. And that's what I've got right here is I did this, basically, just very quickly with my finger and then clean up a couple little touches. The quality of the image here isn't something that I would send to production, but it's just something to illustrate what I'm trying to accomplish here, which is I want to be able to circle these items. So as I select them, I want to have a drawn, something that looks drawn, appear around here, not just the border property, but something that looks like it's been drawn. Okay, in my CSS, here's that class marked. All I'm doing is adding the red. Now, I have this image, so I'm going to put that in there. So let's start with just doing that. We'll add the background image. And it's up one folder into the images folder, and there it is. I save that, and there we go. So the original size of the image, it's being drawn at its original size. It's repeating. Well, let's get rid of the repeat, first of all. So the repeat is gone. Now for the sizing, what I could do is we can use background size and there's a bunch of keywords. We could try here, background size, cover. We could say contain. Cover's not really doing it for me. It's just sort of stretching it. But contain is going to fit it within the dimensions. And this means that every one of them is going to get the exact same size image. So the height and the width, they're both contained inside of here. So it's going to shrink the height down so it fits within the line for the line item. But I've always got the same size box, which if the text is always short, not a problem. If the text is long, now you can see like here, this is a bit of a problem. I want to be able to adjust this so that it does fit whatever size text I've got inside there. Now, we could say, hey, 100%, 90%. So 100% of the width and 90% of the height every time. But that's not going to work either. Again, it doesn't pay attention to what size the content is. This is a great place for us to use Display Flex. Because the Flex items inside there, they will shrink to wrap around the content. So we can use that here. If I say Display Flex, and we're going to do flex direction column. So we're going vertically top to bottom. Then I want to make sure that my text wraps around here. I don't want any of them stacking up. Uh, flex wrap set to wrap. And we'll justify content flex start. So that is in the direction of the column, the main axis top to bottom. It's going to be towards the top of each of the spaces that they get. And for align items, it's going to be aligned um, to the left-hand edge. There we go, flex start. Now, I refreshed it. I've saved it. This is what we get. And this is sort of the effect that I was looking for. I wanted a hand-drawn line. I wanted it to size to fit itself around whatever the content is. And that's what the flex gives us. So flex collapses each of these things. It's no longer a block item that fills up the entire width. 
it collapses and just gets stacked. And then with our, you know, justify content align items, we can change the alignment within that space. But the content, unless we're setting it to stretch, is going to collapse around the item. And so we're always going to have the right width to use for our background size. And that's it. That's some decorative highlighting. So play around with that concept and see what fun things you can come up with. Um, as always, thanks for watching.